Hey everybody, welcome back to Gameplay First Impressions. Today we're taking a look at Heavy Bullets, which was released today on Steam. It went through early access and now it's getting its full release as of today. It's a game by Terry Velman, Terry Velman, Terry Velman, and it's uh, published by Devolver Digital Music. It's by Doze One, Doze One getting himself around on the old indie games. You might know him from Samurai Gun, you may know him from Nuclear Throne. He does a bit of work here and there with the indie games, which I like. So Heavy Bullets is a kind of procedurally generated FPS game. Kind of similar in the same vein to like something like Paranautical Activity or to like Eldritch, but it's less room based like Paranautical Activity and it's less Eldritchy than Eldritch. It's quite interesting, we'll take a look at that in just a moment. So the game was released today fully and it's for a cost of 15% off first week sale and it's going to be £5.49 pence and $8.49 or something like that. It's going to be $10 full price or $6.99 full price with a 15% off sale. And um, I guess we should look at the options menu as we like to do in various other things. So we'll look at the controls firstly. Controls are all your typical kind of things. The one thing that I wanted to highlight is there's no jumpy jumpy. In fact, I should reduce the look sensitivity because that's something that I had made a point of to remember in my brain. And um, there's no like jumpy jumpy, which is the first thing that I kind of got set back by because you usually you in these games you're usually like pressing like I don't know shift or space to jump or something. No jumping, no jumping at all. In the settings menu, we've got all the nice things that we want. FOV. We can put FOV all the way up to 120 because we're crazy. I like to leave mine at about 110. 100, 110. I'll leave it at 100 though because the last time I put it up too high. Someone in the comments said it was making them feel motion sick. I get that, I understand. If it's too low, it does the same to me. Your usual stuff, full screen toggle, you can actually set your resolution fully to whatever you want, which I enjoy very much. It makes it easy to record, it makes it easy. I like playing games in windowed mode, that's just kind of my thing. You've got your music and sound effects sliders. You've got your um, your image effects, your tool tips and things and stuff. All the nice stuff that you would want to see. So the game is, as I said, procedurally generated FPS, so it means that you kind of go on like a... Like a run, like an Isaac game, you would go for a run, you go new game, and you start off. A little bit of a story comes in, so what is the emergency? Customers are being attacked, something is wrong with the mainframe. We could totally get sued, indeed, that's the businessman thinking. Some will have to go down to level 8, it has to be the mainframe. Tell the janitors, 5,000 for the one who makes it. A lot of lives will be lost. Yeah, they will. Good thing we're only paying one of them. So basically, this kind of sets the story quite well, so it's saying that we're probably the janitor that's getting sent out on each run. And the one that makes it gets the 5,000. We're going to die a lot in the process of getting there. I haven't completed the game. I have no idea how to complete the game. It's going to be tough. We load in. And um, what you'll be immediately greeted with is the wonderfully bright coloured and just glorious old schooly FPS kind of vibe. So the game is wonderfully bright. You see, see here, the, what's this? So it's high rise, hunting grounds, a safe place to kill. What does that say? Urban death factory, indeed. Um, we've got our health on the bottom left. Where's, where's, where's my music? Where's my music? Wait, is there, is there not meant to be music? Hold on, did I turn the music off? Well, there should be music. I don't know, maybe it comes into it later on. So you see your health at the bottom left, you've also got a money indicator. On the bottom right, you'll see our, um, our gun, we've got a revolver. We have to manually reload each um, bullet into the gun. Now, oh and also there's three bombs below that. So with that, it's very interesting, so we'll try and find something to shoot in the face. Anything wanting to be shot in the face, please come forward. I don't like plants. Plants can be scary because there's things that often hide in them, like big, like penis monsters. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> penis monsters. You'll see what I mean momentarily. Oh, are we free to just roam? Oh, hey, that's one right there. Oh, you damn snake. Okay, we got a hit. One of the interesting things about the game is you've got a finite, much more finite number of bullets than you would normally in other places. So we poisoned? Poisoned? Oh, come on now. Was that something hitting me? Right, hold on. What are you? Right, E. Um, speed pill? Oh, fuck it. Let's take it. So, um, you've got a much f more finite number of bullets. Every time we shoot a bullet, we have to go and pick it up and use it. Um, can I fucking heal or something? Am, am I going to die here because that snake bit me? Because that would be a bit of a shitty way to go. You shut up. So you see there, you've seen the big silver bullet. So if I try and not pick up the bullet for a second, you'll see the bullet becomes a thing just sitting there. It kind of gets attracted to us. We re-pick up our bullets and we use the same set of like 6 to 8 to like maybe 15 bullets over the course of the game. You can get more, of course, you can buy more bullets. But that's the interesting thing, these heavy bullets. There's a certain... Actually, like, naming aside and pun aside, like, the way that the game works with the bullet mechanic, it makes... It puts such a weight on the actual value of bullets compared to other games. What, what are you a big nasty thing? No. I'm, I'm curious because I've been bitten by the penis monster and now I'm poisoned and that's... Not good. I, I need to be careful now. I've got half a heart. Um, can I buy some? I need 30, 30 coins. Right. 
We're gonna have to go and farm some monies. You got shot in the face, and you also. Right, pick up our bullets, pick up our monies. Can I buy anything from you? Bullets? I don't really want to buy more bullets. I want to buy some health. At, um, at half a heart, we're not really sitting in a good position. So you'll see some isaac -y influence type things like the three hearts starting and stuff. But um, the game plays nothing like Isaac at all. It plays nothing like Paranautical Activity really either. It's much more of a dungeon crawler than it is like an individual room. Go into a room, do a room, come out of the room, go to the next room. It's much more of a dungeon -y crawler -y type thing where you can kind of go about and explore more. God damn it, I think I just soiled my own underwear. What the fuck was that thing? Okay, that wasn't the best intro. That wasn't the best way to start the game. We'll try again. And I'll try and be a bit more aware of what's going on. Um, I, I, see, I knew so what, what happened was I was paying so much attention to the damn plants that one fucking bit me in the ass. Are there snakes hiding in the bushes everywhere? I don't know. Possibly. Maybe. I need to be careful. Need to be careful. I'm also exploring because, hello boys, there we go, you are dick monster, where are they? I, I don't know which plants they reside in, that's the thing I need to get, these are the things I need to work out. Hello. So we'll pick up our money. Currency is spent, you probably worked this out already, spent in like vending machines, oh I don't like that at all. Aha! Okay, so currency you collect, you spend it on vending machine type things here. You can also store your money in these machines. You get like a banking machine as well. You can sell items that you pick up. You get use items, you use spacebar to use those use items. Whew! And, um, yeah. There's, there's a lot to cover off. Oh, you fucking thing. I've been poisoned again? So soon? Oh. Right, okay. What are you? Red potion. Nice, okay, that's that that nullifies the poison, at least that's good. So I want to go into banking, I can deposit some monies. So what we can do is, you may have guessed already, you can deposit your money here. Say if you're going to die or you know you're going to die, you also have to manually reload. If you're going to die, deposit your money if you know you're going to die and you can go in the next run and take that money. It's kind of like the way the carryover system works in Rogue Legacy. We'll just proceed through to the next room. Um, and we're doing like floors, we're like descending or ascending a, a building. So when we get to the end of our current level, we go up a ladder or down a ladder and we go to the next thing or we go down a... Hello, what are you? Key card required, we'll find a key card then. Uh, you go down like a ladder to the next area and it's like a trapdoor and things and, and you're just kind of progressing along. What are you? You are a... Uh, you can heal me. I'll come back to you if I need you. But it has that kind of twitchy... FPS-y type speed and vibe going on. The one thing that threw me off initially was the fact that you couldn't jump. Now, uh, You motherfucker, I seen you hiding! I seen you! I seen you hiding, you sausage monster! <laughs> sausage monster! And, um, yeah, initially you go in and you think, this is like an old-school FPS, look at me run around like a crazy person. How do I jump? Why no jump? And I pressed all the buttons, I was throwing bombs about, grenading the shit out of the area. And no, you can't jump. And that's one of the first things that'll throw you off, is if you're into the whole, like, traditional old-school FPS kind of vibe, you want a bunny hop, because that's what you do. But the game doesn't have the bunny hop. But then what it does is it puts the importance on the whole idea of your bullets, the, those six bullets go with you a long, long way. And, and you're always replenishing the same six bullets. It's great. I love it. I think it's a great idea. I think it completely changes the way you play the game as well, because instead of just offloading your gun around every corner and just shooting the shit out of everything, because generally in games like this, bullets are like a kind of very low value commodity. You have them and you use a lot of them to kill things. And this, each bullet has such such value. Much value, so, so bullet thing stuff, the meme, may may. Um, but yeah, I like I like that the bullets have that, that value to them. It makes the whole game play completely differently than it would you know, had they been just things that you just shot everywhere. It, it does change the, the whole idea of what an FPS is, which is great. Because in, in shooters, you I mean, if you're ever playing Call of Duty, you see the wastage. The wastage that happens, you shoot a gun, maybe half of a magazine, then you reload straight away and you shoot some more and no one even cares about the bullets. And that's the bullets are like the most important part. Because we're shooting things with them and then collecting them. Boom. Hello, nurse. Okay, and we're collecting money as well, so we can try and buy some stuff or maybe get a use item. As far as I'm aware, small ore. Um, ore you don't use, you just sell for money in one of the vending machines, I think. I haven't found a use for it so far. Are you a sausage in there? No. Hello. I'll sell you. Sell item. Sell ore for 20. Back. That's us got $84. Now, we can buy power-ups. We can buy things that will make us better. Where's my potion gone? Where did I put my potion? Anyone know where my potion is to put over here? Yes, there we go. Grab the potion. Red potion is good. That's like a healing potion. Um, can I buy anything in here? Shop. What have we got for me? Last well. Um, life insurance. Discount. Uh, hmm. Nah. Storage. 
Nah, fuck it. We'll leave it. We'll buy some more stuff later. You can get like speed ups and things. And oh my god, you dirty motherfucker. Every time. It's like I'm never prepared. I prepare myself mentally every time and they're just always there to surprise me, to ruin my goddamn day. Now, the enemies aren't too particularly difficult early on in the game. You'll see that they do that kind of... When they notice you, they stop in their tracks and prepare their, their charge. And that gives you, like, a requisite second or so to just aim and pop. Um, later on, there's, like, bigger, scarier things that I'm concerned of. And um, that's the trapdoor down. Don't want to just leave? Yeah, let's leave. Fuck it. We'll go to the next floor. Where it gets harder! And it will progressively get harder if you've played a game like this before. You know, you know it ain't gonna get easy. So we'll continue. I haven't quite got to the point where I've met any bosses, I haven't quite got to the point where I've met anything too ridiculously difficult. Let's reload while we've got a chance to do so. But I imagine the game will eventually start throwing that shit at me, which is which is interesting. You, you would expect the, the difficulty to ramp up in a game like this. These games are never easy, that's the thing. They're never, like, superbly easy. They're always going to be fucking rough. But I like that. So we shoot the battery on the, the turret that gets him killed, we shoot you in the face, shoot you in the battery. Picking up our bullets every time, picking up the money as well, we'll reload. So far so good, I see you. And the music's starting to kick in, that's good also. Um, repellent, max life up, that would be something that I want to do actually, probably. Um, max life up seems to be more valuable than say, I don't know, I don't even know what repellent does. Does it make the snakes not want to be a part of you? Homing bomb! Um, I think I'd rather keep the, the potion, to be honest. Bombs are cool. You use shift, I think, to throw a bomb. You can throw bombs all over the place. You can throw bombs in people's faces. Bombs also do damage to you, though, as you would expect. A bomb would technically hurt if you exploded a bomb near your own person. But um, I want to find this extra $5 so I can get the health up. Um, I'd feel more... Oh, hello. That'll be $5 right there. No? Seven? Eight? No. Fuck. Um, right, what are you? What do you have? You're selling me bullets, bombs, things. I don't, you don't really need bullets in the early game, as far as I can tell. I, I haven't had much fun in set. Oh my god, he shot me right in the face. Give me the money. Oh, I'm in the lines then. Okay, run away, run away, run away. Hide. Hide back here. I'm going to use this potion just for security. Oh my god. I'm shooting all over the place. That's, that's Hey, watch your cell, you little rascal. I missed a bullet somewhere. Hmm. I probably offloaded a bullet somewhere that I didn't mean to, but let's go back to the vending machine and buy the health up. Where was it again? Now, one thing I do find is that, I mean, if I press M, there's no map. One thing I do find often is that I have no idea where the fuck I'm supposed to go sometimes. Like, if I've been somewhere and there's something going on, I'll try... Oh, there, there we are. You max life up. Sweet. I'll, I'll oftentimes get lost and I'll be like, where the fuck am I? Oh, there's my bullet there. Very good. Okay. Round two. You fucker. What did my bullet hit? My bullet hit nothing, apparently. Purportedly. Purportedly hit you in the face and you didn't die, so I'm unhappy. We got it back, though. That's fine. Um, so yes, so we, we continue on this merry quest of horrible... I don't even know. that the, These areas look cool with, like, the foliage and shit. For whatever reason, I feel like it's like a... a my, my impression of what the landscape is, it's like a hologram type room thing. Like, we're in a building in the middle of, like, a massive futuristic city. And what we're doing is we're walking through, like, a like a hologram fucking holodeck type situation like you get in Star Trek. And we're, like, just doing all this shit, but it actually hurts you. It's like Tron. Kind of, sort of, maybe. Maybe it's, maybe it's like Lawnmower Man. Maybe we are actually like a fucking virtual janitor. Like in Lawnmower Man. And we're just walking about just janitorialing with our with our VR headset with our Oculus Rift on. And this is what's happening. So many questions raised, yet no, not very many answered. Do I want to spend... Do I want to buy? What do I want to buy? Mm -mm, nah. I'll save my 40. I'll try and buy some more health if I can. Or at least like a, a red potion. But all in all, I, I really enjoy the game. I, I think it's cool. I love the concept. I like, like, any small, like, variations to a, to a classic, like, say the classic FPS. The small variation of the bullets being the important part. Um, it re really does change the whole, kind of, general scope of what we're going for here. Okay, this is a secret. Heal. Yeah, we'll heal. Dear Lord, did I, did, did, my, my guy sounds terrifying. Hello? Oh, hello! Hello, okay. Watch yourself, you little- Hey, how, how did you- Oh, no! Sniped. Okay. Um, I'm a bit slow on the, the old fucking- What are you? Antidote, that's for if I get poisoned by the dick monsters, so I better keep that. Um, I guess I'm going back and buying some goddamn... Heal? Nice. Okay. But yeah, it changes the general scope of how an FPS works, and I really like that. I really like that it's something different. 
Um, certainly the other one, what was the other game that I played recently? I played a game recently, Fancy Skulls. Fancy Skulls is heading in a similar kind of direction, but it's more... More isaac I suppose. It's got more kind of room spaced, less emphasis on the actual like one weapon and things. I think this is a much more rounded experience. When if you're looking for like an FPS kind of uh, oh hello, like a Isaac FPS, like a Spelunky FPS, this is probably going to be the choice that I would suggest because it's really fucking cool. Um, again, this is all based on the early game. I haven't had a chance to play the late game, so I don't really know what it's going to. Oh, we're dead. I'll use the antidote, didn't help at all. Where is he? Yes, okay. Maybe I won't die after all, maybe I'll stay alive, maybe I'll live, I'll endure. I will live on. And especially for the price, it's hardly breaking the bank. Right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this back to a vending machine, sell it, and hopefully with that money we'll buy some stuff. There's gonna be a dick monster somewhere, so I'm gonna hide. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned of the, the sausage monsters, because they're, they're, oh fuck, okay. Key card, what are you? Bomb vest? Did I get that bullet back for breaking that? Oh, I did, okay. I guess we're going with the bomb vest then. Um, I think my numbers are... My, my numbers are dayed. My days are numbered. Well, we got through the next area. Um, I mean, getting through the third area, this is about as far as I've been so far. I'm gonna have a drink also. Um, continuing through here. I'm not really sure. Hmm. My guy doesn't seem particularly happy about what's going on. Um, I need to be careful. Okay, there's something over there. Hello, uh, watch your cell, you motherfucker. Very careful. I'm, I'm trying to use. I'm fucking. I'm pressing things like Q and E, trying to peek around corners. Tom, you're, you're, you're getting a bit too complex, my friend. You should try and calm down. It's not. <laughs> it's not Battlefield Four. Heal. Heal me up. Okay, so one thing we can deduce from what's happened here is that as you go down floors, the price of things increases, which is fair enough. So as the difficulty rises, I would imagine that would mean then we, we can probably deduce from that that the, the money gained from each enemy probably increases also. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe the... the, the oh, whoa, where is he? Oh, you fucking snake. Snake in the grass. It's always a damn snake. Some Bloody snakes. Right, well. Well, we found ourselves in a serious situation here. Whereby I'm almost dead. Again. And there's snakes. Right. Snakes. No snakes! Where are you? Can I heal? Um, shop? I can't even buy anything. Do I deposit or do I just continue? Oh, fuck. Up, oh, hello! Oh, no! Right, if we stand, at least we've got like a kind of, like, drawing power that if we stand kind of close to our stuff, we eventually get it all. Where is this guy? I can't see where it is. Hello? Okay, that's kind of scary again. There's a robot somewhere shooting at me. Is it that fucking thing here? No, it's a plant. Hello? Okay. I'm concerned about being out in the open for too long. Who are you? Speed pill. That seems like a terrible idea. So the, the bomb vest is a passive effect. Where, where is this robot that's shooting at me? Where is he? Is he actually shooting at me, or, or am I just imagining all this fucking, like, th this robot's just not actually here at all? Where is he? Hi! Oh! Motherfucker! <laughs> you goddamn son of a bitch. We'll go again, because that's what we do. I enjoy this game a lot. Um, I'm finding it hard to think of anything to complain about. Um, perhaps navigation could be made easier with a map. I don't know if that's something you can get, like an item or, or something like that. Um, usually in games like this, when you've got a map, um, it usually appears as you explore areas, and you can kind of see what you've already explored. But, um, yeah, aside from navigation, which can sometimes be a bit tricky, I I'm really enjoying what's going on. I, I like it. I, I, I just like the idea of, like, every bullet is very high-powered, everything's very powerful. So if I shoot my gun into the face of something, it usually kills it one shot. I don't know if there's much outside of bosses that don't die in one shot. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that whole idea. And I'm very, very much a big fan of it. Do we buy him one more bullet? I don't think there's much point, to be honest. I I'm finding it hard to justify buying bullets. I can't really see the reason or the... Any point to doing that. Um, when you can pick your bullets up, it just seems to be the case. Maybe you'll get, like, a gun upgrade or something. Maybe you'll get a capacity in your gun upgrade, perhaps. Mayhaps. Who knows? What have we got down here? 
Hmm, vending machines. Anything here? Do I really want to bank? Don't want to bank. I'm concerned. I haven't seen a sausage monster for a while, which means they're ready to be jumping out on me. Oh, you fucking... Okay. That's fine. That's okay. We lost one whole heart, but that's okay. We can live with ourselves here. Up. Oh, watch your cell. Uh-huh. Um, heal. I will do it. It, it tends to be the case that all I buy is health and healing, and uh, that's one of the things when you're new to a game. It's probably the best thing to buy more health when you've got a chance to do so because you can use. Th oh, you motherfucker! So I, I guess it must be a random chance to to enact poison upon me because it doesn't seem to happen all the time. But still, do we want to heal again? We can't. We can't even afford to do so. Let's just continue on this horrible, horrible bloody world that we live in. As a janitor, imagine being asked to clean this shit as a janitor. I mean, what would be your response? No, thank you. Cause that'd be mine. I'd be like, I there's no broom. There's no broom in the world dangerous enough for me to want to take this job, my friends. Mm hmm. Also, imagine every janitor in every building just walked about and shot dirt with a gun. That would be quite interesting as well. What a world we would live in! You, oh, you, goddamn, phallus-looking motherfucker. I'm not happy with the snakes. The snakes the snakes are great enemies though because they're so sneaky. I, I should really be taking a mental note of which plants they stay in. And which ones they're jumping out of. That, that's the good stuff. That's what I should be looking at. Are you a snake? No. Are you a snake? No. Okay. Good. Bullets. Uh, rockets? Rockets you say. Homing bombs. Backpack. I'd buy the backpack certainly. Are you a snake? Is anyone a snake? I don't even know. I'm finding it hard to. Oh! Fucking. I was too slow on the aim there. Up, oh, watch yourself. You cheeky rascal. There we go. We're almost dead. I mean. Where's this key card that we find then? Also, which one of you is a snake? Someone's gonna be a snake. I know it. I can tell. Where's this key card? Hmm. So many questions remain unanswered. Um, the key card must be a random drop or something. Well, I can buy the backpack, or do I, I think I should go back and heal if I can. Now, these doors do occasionally close off behind you. Um, I guess that's to produce, I don't know, to make you go forward at all times, which you should really be doing. You could hang about all day and do nothing, but it'd be kind of boring. Um, yeah, we're going to buy a backpack and leave. No, we're not. We're just going to leave. I'll save the money for health, because I think that's going to be more important. Maybe. So we'll continue on. Okay, then. Right. Snakes. Please, no snakes. Okay, that's good. That's that's a good start. Um, I'm very, very, very cautious at the moment that you would be a snake, maybe. Who... who needs shot in the face? Hmm. What are you? Your speed pill? Speed pill! One thing I like about these games is the- Oh, you shit down! The snakes are motherfuckers. I think I'll leave it there. That should give you an idea of what the game's about and what you're looking at. And yeah, as I said, it's available on Steam as of right now. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can go and check it out. This is Heavy Bullets. Very cool stuff.